Michael Forward for Peace FM and Chet TV, and I'm here with the mayor of Chetwin. And now, uh, over the past couple months, uh, there's been discussion about the relocation of the initial fire attack base from Chetwin to Dawson Creek. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, could you give a little bit of uh, history about the uh, how long the attack base was running out of Chetwin and uh, the events basically up until now? Uh, yes, uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, one of the things that... Uh it's uh, Northern Initial Fire Attack Crew. That's uh, what it's. Uh, that's the title, and it's been running for uh, several decades since the '90s, I believe. So, and uh, we have had this uh, service for quite a while. And this year, we found out. Well, actually, it was 2023 when uh, we found out that uh, the operations here in Chetwin were going to be moved to Dawson Creek. And we responded with a letter to the minister, Minister Ralston, and uh, this is uh, some of the response that he uh, gave us in a letter form. The closure is due to current absence of full-time staff, as well as aging infrastructure of the base itself. Uh, I'd like to speak on a little bit of that, uh, the infrastructure itself. At some, of the, at some point in time, uh, Chetwin was never asked if they could assist in the infrastructure, meaning the building where uh, the initial attack crew stayed. I believe there's full, two full-time uh, initial attack team members that live, uh, live in Chetwin year-round, I uh, believe, and uh, one lives right in town here. So uh, with that being said, we were never approached until we found out that uh, they were moving to Dawson. So we were quite surprised at this, and uh, we wanted to understand a little bit more why it was being done, and uh, believing that uh, 2023 was a very uh, dry year, and this year, 2024 being uh, the same, that fires uh, will probably happen, uh, that's a given. So uh, with the letters that we sent to Minister Ralston and uh, getting that kind of uh, response, not knowing or not caring, uh, my opinion is that you, you have to care. You're in, uh, in politics. You're in a ministry that uh, is responsible for fires uh, as a forest ministry. You have that option to take and to give. Right now, we all, that uh, I feel that it's just taking away a service that's very important to the safety of our uh, community. And that in itself stands alone. So uh, we've, uh, at least the uh, community has received support from some of the other surrounding northern communities in regard to this, correct? That's correct, yep. I believe uh, Hudson Hope, uh, Tumbler Ridge, and uh, Mackenzie. Uh, Tumbler Ridge Mayor uh, has been very uh, vocal about it when he is meeting with ministers. So uh, I, I'd like to thank him and thank the other uh, communities for advocating for this. And we reached out to our First Nations, uh, also West Mobley and Soto, and they uh, have the same response. I didn't see any letter from them uh, to the minister, but uh, we reached out to them because they are our closest uh, neighbors, uh, community neighbors. Do you think there is a disconnect between the provincial government and some of our more northern remote communities in terms of the services that we, we, we would require? That's a pretty tough question to answer, but, in e but I could answer it easily. Sometimes we become invisible, and that's my uh, take on it when we have uh, a ministry that is... I'd like to just uh, point out that we are not a, in an NDP uh, holding. We are in a different, uh, we get represented by a different uh, constituents uh, as constituents. We, we, Mike Bernier uh, is our MLA and he is not sit on the NDP. So just saying that alone, is there something to that? I believe sometimes there is. And uh, it's the voting population. We don't have a big voting population. So that in itself sometimes uh, sways government to make decisions that it doesn't affect them. 
if we vote this way or that way. So what is the uh, community's response now to this latest uh, letter from the uh, Ministry of Force? Uh, the response is that uh, the ones that we've talked to, we, we didn't get a real response to, let's say, 100 respondents, but the people that we talked to that are in the know about our community, they're kind of flabbergasted that uh, we get uh, treated in, a, in that fashion, that they would take the safety factor of an uh, initial attack team and move it 30 minutes by helicopter away and give that to us and say, oh yeah, well, it's only going to take another 30 minutes to get here. So right now, if uh, the fire was to start, it would take them 30 minutes to get here and then get out to the fire. So you were adding probably another half hour by that transportation from Dawson Creek to here. Uh, I believe it's even estimated that it would take an hour to respond to something in the uh, Pine Pass? That's correct. Okay. And uh, what would you like to see uh, from the government uh, now, uh, from this point forward? I would like to see that uh, we keep our initial attack team because we are in a forest industry-based uh, community, and uh, the forest is close to us. And I believe they made a good decision by keeping it in Chetland all these years. So somebody thinking in that, uh, on that line, I believe they didn't uh, make a decision like that and say, well, we'll just keep it there just for the sake of keeping it in Chetland. There was other obvious reasons, and that reason, reason being that we we're close to the forest here in Chetland, and we got forest-based uh, community. If we do uh, lose that, and we lose half hour or an hour to get to a fire where we can extinguish it or control it in that uh, 20 minutes or half hour that extra that it's going to uh, be uh, get a team here from Dawson Creek. Is there anything the average citizen can do to uh, voice their support for keeping the attack base in Chetland? Well, letters to the MLA and uh, Mike Bernier did uh, have his uh, say on it uh, in the House, and uh, he spoke, spoke of that. And the minister, his response to uh, Mike was that he was going to contact me. And we got a letter from the minister, and that this is the response. He says, uh, I know the mayor of Chetwin, and I will contact him. And to me, writing a letter and not talking with me or uh, coming to see us, that's not contact. Contact, I believe, if you're going to be any responsible minister, and this is a very highly, uh, a high effect on our safety. So it's going to take quite a bit for us to say, well, you made a great decision. So it, it's just un unthinkable that you, you would send me a letter stating that it's going to take 20 minutes to half an hour more. Send Chetwin a letter send the surrounding communities that letter. And uh, most of the commu uh, community members that we talked to uh, have, uh, have mentioned the same thing. And they asked, well, where is that? Uh, uh, where are they gonna locate it in Dawson Creek? It's in the middle of town, in the middle of Dawson Creek. So it's gonna take them another 10 to gather their equipment, get it to the airport. And I believe they don't have a, a helicopter uh, stationed in Dawson Creek. So they'd have to get a helicopter ready, get on that, get up here, and if they have to drive, it's an hour and 10 minutes. But just that alone, here in Chetwin, they were based by the airport, and they, uh, had a, we have a chopper. We just, uh, the Chetwin Council and Mayor just uh, completed a lease with, the, with a helicopter company. So there's gonna be one based here, and there was flights all year. Uh, coming, going out of Chetwin right until uh, October. Is there anything else uh, you'd like to add in regards to this issue? Well, I'd like to say that uh, importance of safety needs to be addressed uh, by the minister itself. Uh, one of the things that I addressed at the PRRD, uh, from the, uh, we had a presentation by the Prince George uh, Fire uh, Service, and they were uh, talking about uh, uh, how... Uh, our letter was uh, addressed with the minister, and he says, well, 
he said, that was the first time I heard about, about the letter that uh, the Minister Ralston sent me about housing, the, the infrastructure, because what he's understood and uh, his, uh, he believed that he was bringing a, bringing a double-wide trailer to Chetlin. But if we're getting conflict information from the Prince George service and the minister, the minister is totally responsible for this. So when I get a letter from the minister, I believe what it's in that letter is what he's going to do. So right now, from the citizens themselves, uh, one citizen asked me, he says, Did, can we do something? And my response is, well, whatever you do, that, that would be the, your, your responsibility as a citizen. And one that says, well, what if we get a petition? That would be your responsibility as a citizen. Co uh, council and mayor, we, our responsibility is to advocate for the town, uh, not to uh, go against policy. And I believe we will not be responsible for heading up a petition, but if uh, responsible citizens in Chetwin would like that uh, information from us, we will, we will give that information, letters that we wrote, letters from the minister uh, that have been sent because it's, we have it all documented. So they, they could have that information. Any citizen that uh, would like that, that's fine with us. We are more than happy because it is their homes, it's their uh, neighbors in the community. We're talking about Jackfish, Lone Prairie, and out west. And we got uh, communities that uh, are close to us. Uh, and I mentioned the first two nations that are uh, are uh, close, so that that probably would be uh, something that a citizen would have to look after. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in and speaking to us about this uh, very important issue for our local community, and uh, we'll be sure to follow this story as it continues. Okay. Thank you, and uh, thank you, uh, Chet FM. Is it or Peace FM? Peace FM and Chet okay, TV. Well, Chet TV and Peace FM. Thank you for the opportunity. It's uh, very nice to have the opportunity to speak in front of uh, the community and to have uh, uh, Peace FM to, uh, and Chet TV to uh, do this for us. And uh, hopefully we could get this resolved. And fire season is happening, and it's happening now. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, take care. Okay, bye-bye.